And if you followed this tutorial step by step, this is what should happen now. You should get your startup animation here. It will list out your profile. And in just a moment or two, we will now go directly to Aurora. Okay, and it looks like it's about to jailbreak. And so now without pressing anything, we are loaded into Aurora completely hands-free. Hey everybody, Michael here. And this time I'm gonna be talking about the Xbox 360 as there is something brand new that just came out and it is called a bad avatar. Now this is a software only hypervisor exploit for the Xbox 360 dashboard in which we're just going to be adding an avatar to our memory card in order to inject the bad update. Now, traditionally what we've done is we have went ahead and signed into a profile on our Xbox 360. Once we were signed in, we were going over here to where it says games and then my games, and we would start up the Rock Band Blitz demo. And once the game loaded up, we would hit the A button and then we would go ahead and wait for the exploit to happen. Sometimes this would take minutes and then other times it might take way much more than that. And then once it completes, in this instance, I was sending it over to XE Unshackle where I could go ahead and boot up Aurora. As you'll see right here in just one moment, it will start loading Aurora and we could go ahead and load our game backups in there. Now, this is much, much easier with the process of an avatar, so let's go ahead and get started with that. So for this guide, I am assuming that you are coming from a stock Xbox 360, so let's go ahead and let's begin. First off, you do not want to be connected to Xbox Live when you are starting to work with this. The first thing that you will need to do is come over here to Settings, and then go over here to System, and we are going to go to console settings and we are going to take the option here which says system info and your dashboard should be looking just like this. It is at 2.0.17559.0. Now, if you don't have this version, I'll leave a link where you can update to it. Okay, so now at this point, you have your Xbox 360 it's setting at stock on this current dashboard. So the very first thing to do here is, is that we are going to go back here and we're gonna go over to storage. And at this point, go ahead and insert a USB device into your Xbox 360. Now, right here, you'll see mine is being listed. I think this is an eight gigabyte card and it already has some existing files in it. So. What I am going to do here is I'm going to press Y on this and I'm going to select the option here to format with A and we are going to take yes for the option here and give that just a moment or two and we will have a USB drive that is already formatted in the Xbox partition and so forth. So right there it is. It is showing as 7.4 gigabytes free. Okay, let's go ahead and take that out of our Xbox 360 and connect that up to our PC. Now we're gonna be taking advantage of something called Bad Stick, which is located right here on GitHub. And this is an Xbox 360 USB setup tool for the bad update exploit. Now, what is very interesting about this project is, is that it just added in support for a bad avatar which is the project that I am talking about here today, which just came out right around nine hours ago. So in order to get started with this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to releases here and we're gonna scroll down and we are going to download the bad stick version 1.1 stable and extract that to somewhere on our computer. Once extracted, you will see a badstick.exe and you're gonna to want to run that as an administrator. And the very first thing that you'll see that has been updated as of 9.14 was, was that I've added some news here. I've updated the 
packages here with the new bad avatar update, you no longer need to run the Rock Band Blitz to exploit your console. As soon as you boot, the console will run automatically. I've also included the new XE Unshackle 1.3, which is the fully automated version now. So we're gonna go ahead and press OK here, and you will see this dialog here. We're going to select Continue. Okay, and so I just plugged in that USB drive, and you can see this is the contents of what is in there right now. Also note the drive letter is F over here in the bad stick device setup. You will see that it automatically detected ELF. Now what we need to do in here is we need to go ahead and put a check mark right here in XE Unshackle. And then over here on the dashboard and launchers, we're going to put a check mark right here in Aurora. Obviously you could use any of these other dashboards or launchers if you wanted to. And you could also come over here to Homebrew and add a couple of different Homebrew applications as well as do things like manage your stealth networks and then any other plugins. I'm going to leave all of this at the default except for add in Aurora and add in XE Unshackle. And we're also going to put a check mark right here to skip Rock Band. We don't need to install that on our system here. And for the rest of these, we can leave these as they are. Now at this point, let's go ahead and press start on this. And we are going to go ahead and just erase everything. Now I know we did that manually, so you could have come in here and selected skip format, but I just wanna make sure that everybody understands all the options available to them. So at this point, it is downloading and extracting Aurora. And right here, it is grabbing XE Unshackle. And that should be it. So we can go ahead and press OK there. And if we look at the files now, you can see we have a bad update payload. And right there is the default.xex, which is the Unshackle. And if we go back to F drive, there is content here. And this is the avatar. And if we go ahead and go back, we'll see dashboards. And right there is Aurora. Now there is one more file that we do need to add inside of this. And that is the launch.any file. Now I already have this file from working with this previously. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a launch.any and copy it into this fold. I'll obviously make the contents of this available where you can add this to your system as well. Let's go ahead and open this up with something like Visual Studio Code. And so here is what that file looks like. And in order for us to boot directly to Aurora, we need to come in here and change this file path here. So what we need to do is type in dashboards and then you'll see we have aurora and then aurora.xex so if we look at this side by side here we have usb which is our usb device we have dashboards here which maps to that and then we have aurora and then finally aurora.xex okay so once you have this file added Make sure that it is saved, and now we can put that in our Xbox 360. Okay, so at this point, I just rebooted my Xbox 360, and I do have the USB stick inserted, and so right there we can see a bad avatar is free software. If you paid for it, demand a refund, and we can test functionality simply by moving around some of these profiles here, as well as you can see some lights on the front of your console. Okay, that was absolutely it and all that we needed to do. And just like that, again, this is all in real time. We are now jailbroken. Okay, so one of the nice advantages to using the tool that I mentioned is, is that you have access to this brand new version of XE Unshackle version 1.03. Now this is a beta. It is not an official release or anything like that. Let me just call out a few things. As you can see there at the top, it says all patches have been applied. 
Regular JTAG RGH functionality should now be possible on your system and that this is not persistent. Now it does state right here any plugins set in the launch.any will load when you exit this app. So just a second ago, we modified our launch.any file to auto boot into Aurora. So in order to get to that, we could begin by pressing the back button here to exit. And what you will see is, is that in just a moment, Aurora will load up. But I want to let you know that there is a couple of other really neat things that we can do with this. Okay, so at this point, I am into Aurora, so I could load my backups. Let's go ahead and reboot this console. Okay, and it is rebooted. And at this point, we're going to just wait for it to jailbreak again. And there we go. Now, what we can do is we can press the start button on our controller to auto start this. So we're going to go ahead and hit start on this. And it says we'll auto start in 0.0, .0 seconds. And if we give this just a moment here, then what you will find is that it loads up Aurora. Okay, nothing too special about that. Now let's go ahead and reboot for the third time. And if you followed this tutorial step by step, this is what should happen now. You should get your startup animation here. It will list out your profile. And in just a moment or two, we will now go directly to Aurora. Okay, and it looks like it's about to jailbreak. And so now without pressing anything, we are loaded into Aurora completely hands-free. Now that is very, very cool. Okay, so there you go. You now have an Xbox 360 that loads Aurora without touching anything. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. Anyways, thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, 